foam rollers are great tools for working tight spots or trigger points out of muscles. In endurance athletes, one of the most notorious trigger points is the piriformis muscle, which is in your butt. To work out this tight spot with a foam roller, you're going to want to sit down on the roller and fold the ankle of your left leg over your right, just above the knee on the thigh. And you're going to have your hands on the floor behind you just to brace you and start to just roll around in small movements on the roller. It's not a pain contest, so don't go overboard with it, but you do want to kind of settle in on that area and really try to get the muscles there to relax. You might even feel yourself kind of sink into the roller a little bit. Spend about 20, 30 seconds working on that area and then switch over, just reverse your position and do exactly the same thing on the left side. The longest tendon in the human body is the iliotibial band or IT band. It runs from around the knee on the outside of the thigh all the way up to hip level. And it's really tight in a lot of endurance athletes. Uh, it can become inflamed and injured. That's known as IT band friction syndrome. Uh, the pain is often just outside and above the knee. Uh, and in that case, if it is located there, it's often referred to as runner's knee. Foam rolling can help loosen up the IT band. Stretching isn't really going to do it too well because it only pulls at the end of the band uh, or the tendon, whereas foam rolling uh, works the whole thing. To do it, lay down with the foam roller just underneath your hip bone. And you want to roll slowly all the way from the hip socket down to just outside your knee. Don't try and endure too much pain and you can use your hands. You've got your hands on the floor and you're really using them to sort of drag yourself back and forth across it. So don't linger too much on the most painful areas. Try to work the whole length of the band. 30 seconds will do it. Then flip over, work the other side, and you're good to go. The great thing about foam rolling is that it's kind of idiot proof. It's almost impossible to do it wrong. Your body kind of tells you what it needs. But the mistake to avoid when foam rolling as a warm-up for an exercise is lingering too long over painful areas. That's fine for post-activity trigger point release, um, but inducing pain like that will kind of send the wrong signal to your brain. Um, whereas before exercise, you really want to stimulate the nervous system and get ready for exertion.